Nintendo World Report. We're here uh, checking out Gal Metal for the Switch. And James and Mike. Sir, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Tak Fuji and the producer of the Gal Metal. Nice to meet you, world. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. So tell us a little bit about this game, a little bit overview for people who aren't familiar. Okay, this is a brand new music game called uh, exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. And uh, it, unlike uh, other music game, it doesn't have uh, any arrows or any notes falling down from the, from the from top to bottom. So you figure out how you use your rhythm, how you build your own music. It's a big question, but I'm going to show you in a minute. <laughs> so it's very free form. Um, you don't have any sort of visual indicator of the measures. Is that intentional? If so, um, what's your thinking there? So for the beats, right? No, there's no, there's no visual. Uh, just have to use your ears. Yes, this is this is a music game and the music about the listening, right? So why you use the eyes, use your ear, use your brain, use your body to express your middle or rock? That's how the music game is supposed to be. So I know the words get good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the story. It's a very uh, quirky story and with a very interesting manga presentation. Yeah. Um, it's about uh, the girl band, the girl metal band, um, basting alien from somewhere in the galaxy and uh, save the Earth. Do you have any ins particular inspirations you're pulling from for this story? <laughs> not really. Um, this is not really my script. This is a great uh, director's uh, the script. Um, thanks for Mr. Imai providing the great script. The world loves it. <laughs> so when you're making a game like this with the motion controls, um, What's the process for kind of tuning uh, the, the motion control sensitivity and, and coming up with the different patterns for people to discover? Different patterns? Well, so, there's some patterns that... The, the beats. For, for, for the beats and for... Uh oh I pushed the button. Let's go. Okay, still going. Sorry. I want to make sure it's still recording. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, you get points, and so you have to figure out, well, how do you, uh, you, know, how do you uh, decide what earns points, what does not earn points? Um, there's an element of the rhythm, like uh, the basic combo of the fighting game. So you remember those elements, like do, 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 hand, do, hand, do, 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 hand. So that's an uh, element, so unfortunately you have to learn about it. But uh, how you combine them, how you build the entire song by using a specific genre of the rhythm. Like if you go faster, do ka, do ka, do ka, do ka. Or are you, if you want to go to the slower in the beginning, and um, those different combination will give you a point. Do you are you still with me? Yeah. I can show you if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually love to see that. All right. So maybe it's a good time to get right. started, right? Yeah. Learn from the master, guys. First, strap. <laughs> Safety first. Otherwise, the guys in that booth will be... They do, they, they have rules. <laughs> they have rules. <laughs> All right, let me show you how the game goes. So, there's a bunch of patterns you have to remember. But uh, it looks complicated, but as you go through the story, it's gonna add up more tricks, more you know, rhythm patterns. So this is an example for the level one. It's a pretty much basic. So what you're gonna do is swing the kick. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, two, two. Right? So I have mastered one big beat. And then maybe I'm gonna try the other one. Two hands. One, two. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two. Now, I learned two rhythms already. Let's get middle by using only two patterns I have learned here. 
You can do more than that. You're not you're not going to show off. You're not going to show off at all. Not yet. Not yet. But uh, let's see. In the beginning. Still, same rhythm. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two. And maybe second rhythm. One, two, three, four. So combining those two rhythms, you make a music. Right? And maybe I'm gonna try different category, which is a half speed. Dun dun can, dun dun can. It gives you a different feeling. So, you see the different color in the top bar, which means I have played yellow category in the intro and the green category on the A, which is a four beat. And the A dash, I played the half speed category. So, I'm building entire song by using different category of the rhythms so maybe on the B I'm gonna go wild so I'm gonna make a double speed one okay and I'm gonna keep going because B and B dash is the same category Well, I miss it, but uh, anyway. Um, if you refrain same phrases in the same category, like here is a B and a B dash, if you use the same group, it's gonna give you a bonus. So, having the same category group in, uh, in a different structure, you will build the entire song. That makes you a lot of points. So, by gaining and understanding those combination and the structure of the game, you naturally will be learning how to make a drum. Are you with me? Sugoi. Sugoi. <laughs> so we have some classical music here. What other kind of music maybe you borrow from for the full game? All music is based on the classical music because well, we could bring some licensed music from the existence of middle band but uh, this is about uh, building your own rhythm. If you listen some middle piece with the drums, the goal of your playing will be simulating or tracing that masterpiece, because that's the best they provided, right? So it's gonna be same as having the arrows, the notes indicator, not falling down from top to bottom. You are just following the master, which is uh, my game design. This is about how you build your own rhythm with unknown drum track. However, unknown songs is really how to get started because you don't know a song. But by using those master classical pieces, you know what's going on. You know how you said, you know how you make a spike, you know how it's solved in the end of the song. So it's, it's, getting, it's, it's really easy to start. Plus, it's a masterpiece, lasts 400 years. Must be great, right? <laughs> Any chance of maybe, since this is a Nintendo exclusive game, maybe a few Nintendo songs making in the cuts are only classical music? What, what's that? Nintendo songs, maybe. Nintendo songs? I don't know, deal with them. And, uh, well, I'll put in a good word then. Right, well, I mean, I love classical music. And uh, it is really good chance for the kids to have uh, to have a listen for the great pieces which made in uh, 400 years ago. Well, so you don't listen to any music classes in a school, right? Uh, actually, I, I went to music class. Oh, really? Yeah. Did yeah. you love it? I played piano and violin. Sure. Huh? So you are on my side. Uh, yeah. You know, think about the rest of people in a good <laughs> classroom. Hey. Uh, okay. No, no, I'm good. You're, you're good. I don't, you don't want to talk about you don't want to talk about the viola. 
<laughs> no, I only talk about 13 years of my life. I'm good. All right. Very good. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's a very interesting game. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You want to see the Super Bowl of mine? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. For the final, final blast, I'm going to show you how you make a rock. Let's go back. Play, play. Seven million? <laughs> Going for a million. Let's see. You want to aim to that point? So. Remember, this is this has no indicator on that, so you have no business watching the screen. You watch me to enjoy the game. So play with your friend, show your medal to your friends, and friends make you a medal. <laughs> <laughs>